you today, Val Davila, for Hot Hardware here at the AMD Epic Data Center launch event with Chris from AMD. How are you doing, Chris? Yeah, I'm doing great. How are you today? Good. How you, tell us what you got going on here with this little demo. Yeah, so uh, let's see. This is related to the data analytic. And um, just kind of give the context behind the data analytic is that, uh, as you know, that there's been an explosion of the data. A lot of people start you know, focusing on the big data. And there's a lot of focus in trying to make many money out of big data, mm -hmm. but there's not a you know really effective way to utilize those you know significant data out there. Not many companies can actually there. Most of them can only like you know use partition of the data, and there's been you know, an effort like things like Hadoop and MapReduce and and the Spark to try to make them more easy and friendly for the you know end customers. And what we do is showing you that using the Spark, we can basically analyze. The huge data into different clustering formats and showing you that how you can effectively do that compared with the AMD EPIC solution versus the Intel current Intel solution. So okay. we're uh, comparing the four, the Intel 2D solution based on the uh, Xeon E5 So a couple of dual socket servers? Yeah, the four dual sockets from Intel. Four dual socket servers on the left, yep. Right, compared to the two dual socket based on EPIC 26, uh, 7601 CPU. Okay. And uh, in this case, what we try to do is that we try to make it similar to as much as possible in the sense that we want to go ahead and same amount of system memories, so a similar the storage and things like that, so we can kind of do the apple to orange type comparison. Mm -hmm. Even at the configuration, Epic solution has about 12% more performance compared to the Intel, current Intel solution. What that means is you can get much higher performance at 2.5% less cost than Cubot. How many? Uh, how many servers on the right side for AMD? Uh, there are three AMD servers versus four Intel servers. Okay, so six sockets versus eight sockets. Exactly. Got it. Got it. Good stuff, and you're done uh, something like uh, 21 seconds faster still. Exactly. 12%. Great. Thanks a lot, Chris. So here we're, we're running a pair of uh, AMD Epic 7601 processors against a pair of Intel 2699A processors, their top of line SKU, with 64 total cores for us and 44 total cores for them. That gives us 128 threads versus 88 threads. We are so dual socket server versus dual socket server. Dual socket ver server versus dual socket server. Got it. Um, we're running VMware and we're running eight virtual machines each. Uh, with the virtual machines, we are dividing the total number of logical threads uh, by eight. So we're getting 16 virtual CPUs. We're maximizing them out at 11 virtual CPUs, but we're utilizing all the logical cores in the system. We also utilize all the memory channels that we make available and all the memory channels that they make available. So we're maximizing the memory bandwidth in the system. This workload is not memory capacity intensive. It's going to be more integer intensive and memory bandwidth intensive. So you'll see here, AMD finished about 30% faster than Intel doing a Linux kernel. Nice. Thanks very much.